the other day. Josh take a break from Western movies after watching Tombstone and Young Guns and Brokeback Mountain, which wasn't a Western. I need to take a break and detox a little bit. But I said, no, you know what? I got to watch Lonesome Dove because Lonesome Dove has been suggested by a billion people that like Western movies. So I put in Western movie, Lonesome Dove. And it's really not a movie. It's a four part miniseries. And bruh, listen, you know how black people had color purple? White folks got Lonesome Dove, dog. This miniseries has pain, joy, fights, bad guys, women that don't know their side chicks, but they really side chicks, and they don't mind putting their natural born son off with the stepdaddy. It got deaths, it got best friend, it got hangings, not like you think, dog. I don't care what kind of grown man you are. I don't care how many car tires you've changed. I don't care how many hammers you've nailed into the wall. If you can watch Lonesome Dove and not get teary-eyed here, 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 and down here, something is terribly wrong with you. And bruh, listen. I was not prepared for Gus to die. The entire series, I was like, these two dudes, they gonna make it, they gonna make it to Montana, they gonna set up shop, they gonna live peacefully, they gonna meet a couple women, they gonna have fun. I was not prepared. Y'all could have told me that when Gus got hit with that bow and arrow in that leg, that he was gonna die. Y'all could have warned me, man. I've never seen a movie or a show where a daddy was a deadbeat daddy, but he was in his son life the entire time. There's a relationship in Lonesome Dove with one of the cowboys. His name is Carl. We're going to call him Carl. Carl slept with a prostitute and the prostitute had a child. And he's almost 98, 99, Mari percent positive that the child has been living with him that he took under his wing is his son. But he don't want to say that's his son. He don't want to call his son his son. And there's a moment in the miniseries, towards the end of the miniseries, where they have a moment he give him a watch and then you think he's going to say his son and you, he like and in your mind, you like, you better say it, you dead beat ass daddy. You don't did all this tricking, prostituting, you a Western, you got guns, you can love them horses, but you can't love your child, Newt. You don't deserve this little Newt. The man rode 3,000 miles back on a horse, no air conditioning, no stopping at 7-Eleven, no sleeping at the Marriott's. He rode 3,000 miles bike to Texas to bury his friend. On the way back to Texas, the casket broke. The coffin that the man was in, that broke down. He said, nah, I'm gonna keep my promise to you. He wrapped his body up like a mummy. Mummies haven't been mummies in like thousands of years by that point. He wrapped his body up like a mummy, put him on the back of that little wagon, and he rode him bike 3,000 miles. <sighs> Lonesome death! Lonesome death! The men were so good to their cattle that when they left Texas, they pigs followed, dog. They pig was like, oink, oink, I'm not staying here. I'm going with, well, hey, listen, pigs, we going 3,000 miles across the country. We ain't going to be able to make it. I don't care. I'll be baking while we raking. I'm going with y'all, oink, oink. When I think about real prolific miniseries that were on TV, I think about when Roots was on TV for the 18-hour storyline. I think about when the Power Rangers switched from the regular Power Rangers to Power Rangers Zio, because that was a real big deal for all us children there and Lonesome Dove. We can't compare to them people out there, man. Man bathing in, in rivers that's the same color as you who drinks? Nah, man. We ain't nothing, man. You go to sleep, you got 125 horses right here. You wake up in the morning, you got 13 horses. Dog, Lonesome Dove is so good. That's real western. I'm talking about it giving me hiccups. I'm getting Why Gus had to die? Why Gus had to die, man?